Wow, it is a beautiful day. About 70 degrees and sunny, freaking rain. Must be the day off the leaves. Usually there's uh, always somebody out here working on them, but I guess they're doing uh, new campus today. This is all the old part. We've got two hours off in between classes. We're just walking around burning time, taking some pictures of beautiful campus. I am glad I do not have to participate in that job. That looks like a pain in the ass. Those things are probably really heavy. Anyways, walking around the new area, I don't really know if I'm supposed to, but there's nobody here to tell me not to. So I'm going to. They are keeping the yard up. The landscaping is beautiful. So is the hardscape. The problem is there's nobody here. Two o'clock, 72 degrees. Absolutely perfect weather, look at this. Sunroof is open, we got the windows down, blue skies, it is beautiful. I'm gonna head home, I have no idea what's going on this afternoon, but it's a great day, so we'll find something to enjoy it with. I don't have my glasses on, they're inside. Uh, home, it's still gorgeous, and I'm um, feeling motivated. It's not supposed to rain until Saturday, and I can get out of driving on Saturday, so. We're gonna pull the car out, we're gonna give the car a little, uh, little wash job here. Take a look at this shit. What the hell is that? I don't even know. It's all over here and below the door handles and you know, my wheels are, are just black so we're in for uh, probably a two hour plus job. And uh, I like to listen to music when I do the car. A lot of times it ends up being salsa music as you know. So um, we have a problem and its name is Lightning. My iPhone 5 will not fit in the Bose thing and I don't have an iPod dock, iPhone, whatever, iOS iDevice dock that will accept that. It's a 30 pin. So guess what? Third generation iPod Nano. My first Apple product circa 2007 I think whenever that was uh, whenever that was new. It's an 8 gig black. It was the nice one. They had a 4 gig. Remember that? I think that's the first model that had a bunch of colors. So I uh, just restored it. There was a bunch of stuff on it so I restored it to iPod OS um, 1.1.3 I think or 3.1.3 or 1 I don't know some ancient OS 58 megs took 20 seconds to download three not even three minutes to install probably a minute to install now I'm syncing just a few playlists on it 7.2 gigs um, fairly quickly we're at 250 of uh, 1300 I think so that is what I'm going to use that's now going to become the, the car washing thing but it kind of sucks because I can't fit my but my main two playlists on there I have a a uh, classic rock playlist, which it's not classic rock, maybe a, an eighth of it is, but that's where I put most of my music. And then there's a jazz slash swing thing where I put chill music and big band and jazz and even some technos in there. And I can't fit both of those because those combined are like 15 gigabytes or something. So I'm just putting the classic rock one and um, Bill Collins and some stuff on there like that. My backyard, aside from some tulip leaves, which blow very easily, uh, is clean. But over there, it's all these uh, stupid pin oak leaves that have come down, and that's going to create work later on. So my objectives for this afternoon, it's, uh, I don't know, 10 to 3. Start washing the car about 3. I think I am going to do an E39 source video. iPhone's on the uh, charger in there on the trash can. So we'll get the car done, hopefully by 5. I'm aiming to do by 5, 5.30. And then before it gets dark, I want to go and mow across the street. Not necessarily because the grass needs to be cut, but there's some leaves down, and I need to get my last mow in for October or I owe them money. So I'm gonna do that. They fertilized our yard the other day uh, before a lot of these leaves came down. But I think I get my blower part back Friday, Thursday, either tomorrow or Friday. I'm not in a big hurry for it. So when I do get that back, that's that means I get to go and do that. And uh, the weather pretty much goes to crap Saturday. Winter starts Saturday as far as I'm concerned. But I wanna get the car cleaned up one last time, one good big last time before winter hits. Uh, get all the, the stuff off and enjoy it today, Thursday, Friday. Hopefully it'll sit around Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I think are okay, just cloudy and cool down in the 40s. Uh, and then rain comes in Tuesday and snow by Thursday, they said. It's going to be like 40. Um, yeah, look at the exhaust. It is cocked. So I'm going to go grab that iPod, get the Bose thing out here, start making a video, and talk to you all later. Bye. All right, we are on 900 of 1200, working uh, very well here with the Nano. And I just filmed the uh, intro few clips for the E39 Source channel. I don't think I've made a video on that channel for a long time. Put lots of video up, videos up from Mike and Andrew and Colt uh, and everybody. But uh, not myself. So I just kind of did the little update and walk around and uh, explain what we're going to do today. And uh, 
It's now time to get some soap, get the car out of here, and uh, get to work. That is the first time the Nano has gotten to do anything in probably two years, and it's doing very well. Still have to go find my glasses. Anyhow, car's out. I, I know I keep saying I'm going to get started, and, and I am in a minute. Uh, but I thought I would... I, so the, the Nano's been on the charger for maybe maybe 25 minutes, and it looks like it got about a three-quarter charge, according to the little battery meter, which I'm sure is not as as um, accurate as it once was when the battery was younger and, and you know not worn out. But um, I can correlate the whole experience of a Nano versus an iPhone like airports. You fly into a small airport in an airplane, you get in there, you walk in, you give them your ID, you give them your, your bag, you walk to the gate, you sit for three minutes, you get on the plane, turn around and take off. The iPhone is an Airbus A380 flying into London Heathrow. You go to the airport, you sit for four hours, you can do tons of shit. You go to your gate, you sit for another two hours, you get on the plane, sit for an hour, then you turn around and start thinking about taking off. And then you're in the air for seven hours and it's the same process getting off the plane. However, I'll take the 380 over the Cessna 172. Wow. Uh, time check. I don't even know. Will this tell me the time? No, it doesn't. Not there. It's got to tell me the time somewhere. Is there an app? Hold on. There's got to be a way that this will tell me the time. Settings. Oh, really? Is there no way that... Oh, really? Date and time. Here we go. Maybe it doesn't know, though. 6.53 p.m. All right, that's 40 seconds to figure out the time on that thing. 6.53 p.m. Um, car's done. Car's done. So, uh, I, I did take a, an hour break to mow. So, uh, four hours... Three hours, 53 minutes, so about three hours. Wheels are good. Um, everything's perfect. Only thing is, I've got all the brake rotor rust in there, so I've got to go on a little jaunt around the block here to uh, to get that off, and then I'll have to clean it off the wheels and the exhaust tips. I forgot to clean out the inside. I'll do that when I get home from that little drive, which I'm going to go do now. I already had pizza for dinner. That's been working wonderfully, and it uh, looks like I've already got some towels cleaned, so that many more to go. All right, kind of name the car. And in the journalism what are we looking at there? Figure out what's going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, leave a comment. You should know what it is. I parked next to it and filmed it a few weeks ago, and of course, it was a very elderly gentleman driving the vehicle. Hmm. This is not my desk. In fact, we're sitting on the floor in my family room. I don't know why. I just had M&Ms and milk sitting on the floor in my family room, editing today's vlog, doing like 40 emails and watching a crap load of YouTube stuff. Okay, so last I talked to you was, I saw that car downtown, and before that I was still working on the car. I put that coat of Z8 uh, grand finale on it when it was dark, so I'm gonna finish the E39 Source t video tomorrow when it's light and I can get some good quality film slash pictures of the car in daylight to better excuse me, demonstrate my work out of the dark garage. I filmed too much in there already, so uh, that will go up tomorrow. This will go up tonight, and uh, I think that's all I have to say today. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, Thursday, October 25th, another beautiful day. It is supposed to be 77 degrees and sun. I'll take it. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.